morning. Did you set the timer? Yeah. Okay, give me um, an assortment of faces. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what expression I should give you. For ice. There, smile. I'm smiling. <laughs> My mental health has always been something that I've struggled with. I, along with my brother, my mom, and my dad, have all been diagnosed at different times with anxiety and depression disorders. Because of this, I grew up in a family who accepted and used terms like clinical depression. I also didn't have a role model to learn balance and coping skills from. At the age of eight, I was put on medication for ADHD. Later in life, I would experiment with different types of antidepressants. When these band-aids proved to solve nothing, I turned to addictions to numb myself and distract from the ocean of pain I was ignoring inside. When I turned 25 years old, I reached a breaking point where enough had become enough. At this point in my life, I had just moved in with my partner, Lindsay, and we were both very happy, or at least I should have been. On the surface, everything in my life was working itself out perfectly. My YouTube channel had exploded and was bringing in more than enough money for us to both live very comfortably. I had achieved every goal I had set for myself in my teenage years and I had obtained all of the material possessions that I had always wanted. Yet my mental health was at its all time worst. This ocean I had been ignoring came knocking and demanded attention. Nothing made sense. Everything society valued, everything my family and my friends were chasing, I had obtained, yet I felt worse off. I was confused and I was scared. I was so sure that if I just made enough money or got enough follows, that I'd feel whole, I'd feel better, that the chase would come to an end and I could, for the first time, feel some sort of peace. After years of chalking up my mental health to, this is just the way I am, I decided this was going to change. I was going to change. In every way I needed to. I was desperate and I was going to do anything it took to feel at peace. With the 2020 pandemic and lockdown in full swing, the stage was set for serious self-transformation. Nowhere to go each day, but inside myself. To rip apart all of the layers, the walls and borders that I had built within to keep myself locked away to avoid feeling anything. I used meditation, plant medicine, yoga, human connection, journaling, and ice baths as my toolkit for accessing altered states of consciousness. As I expanded my awareness, I could start to make sense of the internal traumas and turmoils I was carrying with me. The more my awareness grew, the more limiting beliefs and past mistakes I could let go of and overwrite. Slowly, I was crafting a new life, completely different from the person I once was. My wardrobe changed. My diet changed. The music that once defined me, I lost interest in. I no longer could relate to the pain and intensity I was so drawn to inside of heavy metal. My sleep schedule normalized to a place where I now rise and fall with the sun. 5.30 a.m. wake-ups and 9 p.m. sleep times. The manic depressive six week cycle I was so used to was disrupted and replaced with a healthier, more balanced outlook on life. In the ice bath in front of you, I am 27 years old. It's been two years since I set my focus on getting well. Life still has its ups and downs. However, I am worlds away from the suicidal, depressive mindset I used to live with. For this, I'm so grateful and excited. I have only just begun. It turns out life is only ever what we make it. Whatever you choose to believe, you are right. The power to change is in every decision that we make. It's time we prioritize health and wellness. It's time we wake up from our slumbers. It's time we become conscious.
Here's your towel. Yeah. You're so welcome. Wow. Yeah, it smells so gross. What are you doing? You can show those goosebumps and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> My hand's like smooth and slow. Damn. You gonna start shaking? When shivers kick, yeah. Dang. <laughs> Go straight to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's see where you're taking me. Actually, the ER. <laughs> ER sauna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like the third guy this week. Yeah. Kids gotta stop watching Wim Hof. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. So good. Okay, I'll see you guys. Good job. All right. See you. Bye, Kegan. See you, see you soon. Have a good you too. Oh yeah. Is it on my phone? Yep.